Hey friends, welcome to Spirit Sesso Tarot. Aquarius, this is your love reading. This is a timeless reading, which means that when you are drawn to it, it is meant to be. However, I know some of you like to know the day and the reading is done. So this is June 12, 2023. Spirit, for our Aquarius friends, please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only. What does Aquarius need to hear? What do they need to know? What is going on in Aquarius's love life? <clears throat> we have pond. Okay, so this is about looking inward and uncertainty. It's about going deep, perhaps doing some shadow work. I'm hearing fishing as well. <laughs> I like it. All right. We have Hawthorne. I love it. With the 27, it's about learning from the past, right? Hawthorne 27. Learning from the past. Could be part of doing some shadow work. Spirit, please continue these divinely guided messages for Aquarius and their love life. What is going on? What does Aquarius need to know? We have 14 tulip. Absolutely beautiful. With tulip, it's about boldness and self-expression. So you are someone who is confident. You carry yourself very well. <laughs> With the beautiful pinks and mauve colors, you are definitely a loving soul. You attract many, I feel like many different people. Yes, characters. I'm hearing characters. You attract many different characters. <laughs> Spirit for Aquarius. Please continue these divinely guided messages about pond and tulip. We have insecurity. Hmm. Very interesting. So this is about tapping into your deepest feelings, things that you've shut down, closed out, I'm hearing. You need to open up your heart. You need to let your guard down. You've let your fear rule you, rule your actions for the most part, Aquarius. You're not a risk taker, but hey, I relate to that. We have Messenger of Air at the bottom of the deck, which is the Knight of Swords. Some of you may be getting ready to express thoughts or desires, or you may be receiving a message. This is something that's going to transpire in the very near future. It is going to be concerning love. Spirit, please tell me a little bit about Aquarius.
please provide some insight regarding our darling Aquarius. Five of water. Okay. Aquarius, you have You've been somewhat depressed. You have been what I like to refer to the Five of Cups as. It's my, your cup is half empty versus your cup is half full card. And right now you are having some difficulty seeing your way out of a love concern. So you have either recently experienced a breakup or a disconnection, or you have been independent for quite some time, but you have been, I feel like, okay, some of you have been actually, You've put yourself out there on social media. You've done some filtering. You, you've you gone on a couple of dates, but nothing serious. You feel like, <clears throat> right now, you feel like either <sighs> all the good ones are taken is something that you are thinking quite frequently, or you are thinking, what's wrong with me? Why am I attra uh, attracting these losers? I'm sorry you're saying it, not me. And I'm not judging, okay? These are genuine messages coming through from your energies. That's your insecurity coming through. Hmm. That's kind of funny. You are afraid to be bold. That's what the tulip is about. You're not very confident, Aquarius. You're insecure about your looks, even though you are quite beautiful is what I'm hearing. Oh, we have King of Fire at the bottom of the deck. So there may be some fire energy in this reading for you, Aquarius. There are... I feel like there's a Leo that has interest in you. Hmm. Yeah, you are definitely insecure. You're not very bold and you need to be. Your angels are saying you need to be. You have to go after what you want is what I'm hearing. That's also fire energy, having the motivation and the drive. Again, I feel like you're, you're somewhat depressed. You're repressing yourself. King of water. Okay, so there is someone who has their eye on you. They are very mature. They are able to feel your insecurities. They are an empath. This is someone that is already in your life. You are already connected to this person. You have sought advice from this person. They know about your prior loves. You, again, you have sought advice from this person. You met this person <clears throat> You met this person online. They worked with you to, they actually, they actually worked you out of a relationship with somebody. Hmm. Very interesting. We have nine of shells at the bottom of the deck, fulfillment. That's also about being independent being happy with what you have. 
Spirit, please continue these divinely guided messages for Aquarius. What is going on with this King of Water, the King of Cups? This is somebody that has a strong love interest for our Aquarius. This is somebody that Aquarius is very familiar with. Aquarius, our friends, have confided much information to this King of Cups. This person is slightly older than you, Aquarius. we're going to take. So intuition, the high priestess, and the seven of roses. So it's the seven of wands, courage. This person that you've been consulting with, that you've been confiding your deepest secrets with, is very much in love with you, Aquarius. They are trying to build up the courage to tell you this. This courage is also representing you as well. The Seven of Roses are representing both you and this love interest, this love connection. You're both insecure about this relationship. Generally speaking, you two are very close already. Both of you do have the fear in the back of your mind that if the intimacy doesn't work out, that your friendship could dissolve, and you both are very afraid of that. The Hierophant tradition. Again, I'm going back to you two did me initially online, but I feel like through spiritual avenues, you trust each other immensely. One of you is not physically attracted to the other, okay? There is a deep connection there <clears throat> for both of you. But one is lacking the physical desire. Spirit, can you elaborate? Is that our Aquarius who is lacking the physical desire for this love connection? Or is it this counterpart, the King of Cups? Now, they both have insecurities. They both are afraid to really communicate. They communicate about everything else, but they're both afraid to tell each other how they truly feel about each other due to fear of rejection. And again, there is a sense one is not physically attracted to the other. And I'm going to take all of these here. We have King of Wings, the professional. I'm going to put the King of Wings with the King of Water here. This is one and the same. Again, you've counseled with this person. Now, this person may not be related to you in any way, shape, or form regarding business. I do feel that you did seek each other out online. You have shared intimate details about each other's life journeys. We have the Ten of Roses, which is the Ten of Wands, stress. Your insecurities on both of your parts are stressing the living daylights out of both of you. Eight of Roses, Signals. Yeah, you're both... <clears throat> you're both waiting on each other 
for the sign. You both want to proceed. But again, one of you is unsure because you really don't have the physical attraction as strongly as the other one. But you do have love for this person. Take this how it resonates. Tables could be turned. Okay. There's a lot of fire elements, a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of motivation. You both want to move forward. Look at all these beautiful roses, too. There is much love between you and this king. But there's also much insecurity. Spirit, can you elaborate? What are the reasons for these insecurities amongst these two? Why are they holding each other, their own selves back? Hair font at the bottom of this deck as well. Could it be your spirituality that is keeping you too back? Is it the fact that you are afraid that your friendship could be dissolved if the intimacy does not work out? There's a lot of that going on with these readings today. I promise you all, you saw that I, I smudged. I clear out the energies. Spirit, please elaborate for Aquarius in this connection. We have the Six of Wands, more fire energy, and the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So, this is a very good positive message, and this is what we're going to start to close this reading out with. Spirit is saying that the two of you do need to begin that love relationship that you both are thinking of, regardless of the lack of physical attraction. The physical attraction will happen. You see the Six of Wands? Again, fire element, drive, motivation. There is a lot of spirituality between the two of you. Spirit is validating for me that you two did meet online through a spiritual forum. You two connected spiritually and have confided much information. You two are in love with each other. You have physically seen each other. You have spent time together, not just online, but in person. Your relationship is worth pursuing. And I'm feeling drawn to pull a healing with the angels card for you, Aquarius. And you are the only one so far that I have felt drawn to this deck. For these love readings. Spirit, with the healing with the angels, please elaborate why you have drawn me to this deck to end this reading for Aquarius. Aquarius and this lover just need to take the dive into the pond. They both need to get over their insecurities. I almost feel like the King of Cups is going to be the one to make the first move. But perhaps Aquarius will make that move. What say you? Self-acceptance. That is all about the insecurity for both of you. Both of you need to accept your own selves from head to toe, inside and out. Your spirituality differences, because there are differences, but yet there are common interests as well. So self-acceptance definitely needs to come first. And I do believe I am hearing that once that self-acceptance happens, the physical desires for one another will take place. Don't, darling boo 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 Aquarius, darling boo boos, please note I do not script, I do not edit. I hope you appreciate that for those of you that are new. I hope that this reading resonates with you. 
If it does not, that certainly is okay. Not every reading can resonate with every person. As we all know, that would be quite weird. But anyway, if this reading does resonate with you, I certainly hope that everything works out in your best interest, as well as the other party's best interest. Definitely learn to accept yourself, even if you need to do some shadow work to get over your own securities. Uh, start looking at the cup as half full. That will help you accept yourself. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a kind comment. Until next reading, Aquarius, stay absolutely fabulous. Bye.